Hey guys, even here and in today's video we got a couple of very interesting bodybuilding updates We are hours away from the Chicago Pro And we got a physique update from Hassan Mustafa We have not seen anything from this guy since the Toronto Pro And you guys know that that show he looked like he was 10 weeks out And there has been 4 weeks in between I thought it's probably not gonna be enough time for him to be at his absolute best But can Hassan Mustafa still win this show if he is at like 70-80% with conditioning? Well, we got a couple of photos, let's take a look at them So his coach, Dorian Hamilton, posted this And he says, I'm incredibly proud of Hassan Mustafa His dedication to both bodybuilding and his family is truly remarkable He has been the most challenging client I have ever worked with and I'm extremely proud of what we have learned and accomplished together and bringing to the stage so so it's interesting that Dorian here says that he's proud of what they learned he's not proud of what they're bringing to the stage then he says yeah accomplished together and what they're bringing to the stage but I don't know if he's really feeling it I think he's just saying this to make his son feel more confident because you never know like he might do very well still but it doesn't, this doesn't look like Hassan at his 100% So he posted a couple of photos, three photos This is the first one And here in the side tricep I can see a little bit of improvement Especially like in the delts Delts are more straighted The arms overall, triceps and biceps And I would say we can see a little bit more striations And, and like a thinner skin on his legs from the side they also posted this, uh, let's call it front uh, tricep pose in which we can see the front part of his physique We can see his quads from the front And I think the improvements are there I think he's definitely leaner than he was at Toronto Pro I think his chest also looks harder Abs are like washed up completely, there are no details It looks like he never trained his abs once in his life But that does not have much to do with conditioning, really And as far as conditioning overall he is definitely improved. I wouldn't say this is him at 100%, but this could be him at like 70%. Or let's say 80% of his standards. At least this time around, he's not gonna completely embarrass himself on the stage, like he did at Toronto Pro. So this is what Hassan Mustafa looks like at 100%. This was his best conditioning of all time. Back when he was prepped with AJ Sims in 2022, he won two pro shows that year and went to the Mr. Olympia. And this is what he looked like on stage. And this is what he looked like a day before the stage. So I know it's different lighting, but you can still get the idea what his body looks like off stage when he is truly in condition. This is still not like crazy level of conditioning, but but for him, this is all, this is the best that he could achieve so far. So I consider this Hassan at 100% compared to this. This is probably like 70 or 80%. We can't see his glutes and his back, but the conditioning is definitely improved. And he also won shows when he still wasn't completely dialed in, completely shredded. Like here, for example, this was last year when he won Vancouver Pro. He wasn't the most shredded guy on that stage, but he has so much muscle, it's pretty much impossible to ignore him, to deny him. And as you can see, his abs are also really good here, so he was really full. He peaked really well for this show. He could have been more conditioned, sharper, but still it was good enough at that lineup. However, this year at Chicago Pro, I don't know if he can do it. I don't know if he can pull the win. Because there is a whole bunch of other really good guys Here is one of the favorites, Tim Buresheim, one day out of Chicago Pro And his conditioning is looking really good, maybe even better I wasn't sure if he's gonna be able to keep improving his physique as he did this entire season He started it early, he did a New York Pro first And from show to show he kept improving, but this is gonna be his 4th or 5th show in a row So I didn't know if he's gonna get even better or start to get worse but based on this, it seems like he is gonna be good. It seems like he's gonna be dry and full. And he paid his dues. He did so many shows this year. The judges are familiar with him. They're gonna notice him. And that's gonna give him a slight advantage as well. But physique-wise, I think he has a really good potential to win this show. I had him as a winner in my prediction yesterday. And I'm gonna stick with it. I think Tim Budesheim is gonna win Chicago Pro. We also got an update from Jordan Hutchinson I would never really have this guy in my prediction If Ian Wallier didn't say that he's gonna win the show 
And in this physique update, he actually does look very good with a tan on under this awesome lighting. So he's definitely one of the top guys, it seems. But I'm having him battling for third against Hassan Mustafa. I think second, top two at least, is gonna be Tim Boresheim and Mo Fuda. And then for third, I think it's gonna be between Jordan Hutchinson and Hassan Mustafa. But we still have to wait and see Hassan on stage. Maybe his conditioning is actually gonna look better once he's on stage. He is definitely the guy with the most wins, with the best track record at this show. So he should be the favorite. After that Toronto Pro embarrassment, nobody has him as their favorite, but... I don't know, after seeing this, he definitely improved. He is not exactly super shredded once again, but is he improved enough? What do you guys think? Tell me down below. Alright, then finally, we got a definite answer from Andrew Jack as far as whether he's doing the Dubai Pro or not. Originally, at first, he was supposed to do it, then he decided to focus on Texas Pro, then there were rumors that he's gonna do the Dubai Pro, but now it's pretty clear, unfortunately, he's not gonna be doing it. 10 hours ago, he posted a story in which he's in an airplane and he's traveling to the US, of course. As he wrote, he's gonna be training with Chris the Cycle Lewis for the duration, and it's gonna be like three weeks before the show when he gets there. So yeah, that sums it up. Unfortunately, Andrew Jack is not gonna be jumping into the Dubai Pro for whatever reason. I guess it's something personal against the people who are running the show because what else could it be? I mean, he could have started his prep two weeks earlier if he doesn't feel like he's ready right now. I mean, there is $100,000 prize money and he decided to skip on that and he lives in Dubai. The show would be at his home territory, so I don't know how this makes sense. And he's like a class above all the other guys doing the Dubai Pro. He's a top 5 Olympian. He could have easily won those 100k, but he decided not to do it. And by the way, this is what he looks like uh, two and a half weeks out of Dubai Pro. I think his conditioning could have been good enough. Maybe he wouldn't be the most conditioned guy in that stage, but with his shape, with his structure, with his name as well, he most likely could have won that show. But again, if he really wanted to compete at Dubai Pro, he would have started the prep two weeks earlier. It's not that big of a difference in dates of these two shows. So once again, makes zero sense. But no, no, he's not doing Dubai Pro. Andrew Jack is out of Dubai Pro, very unfortunately. All right, next up, we got Sadik Hadjovic, who just competed yesterday, and he did. He ended up doing the men's physique category, not classic physique, very unfortunately. And he didn't do that well in men's physique. Very surprisingly, he placed sixth at this show in men's physique. And I really thought he was going to win this thing. I mean, I don't follow men's physique, but I really thought he was good enough. I mean, he won Pittsburgh Pro last year. He was looking really good on that stage, however, this time around, he was off, big time off, he was holding so much water, look at this, like, his abs were completely washed up. I don't know if this is just the lighting, but it also looks like he put way too much oil, way too much glaze on. If he was truly dry, this glaze wouldn't hurt him as much as he did because he was so watery, he was holding a ton of water, and he kinda explained this briefly on his social media. He says, unfortunately, I made some critical mistakes in underestimating the weight cap, spilling over, trying to fill back out again, and posing. So apparently he, I guess he was really struggling to make the weight, so he lowered his weight down, then he tried to carve back up, and it backfired, he spilled over. But apparently he had a coach, he actually tagged uh, two coaches, I guess one of them is posing coach, and the other one is a nutrition coach, so it, I guess it's not his critical thinking, maybe he actually decided to carb up more heavily, he didn't listen to his coach, I don't know what went down, but he was definitely holding a lot of water, and I also noticed some comments, people saying that his posing wasn't good, that he's still posing like the way uh, Man's Physique guys were posing back in 2012. And like I said, I don't really follow Man's Physique much, I don't know what is the difference in style of posing between back then and now, but I think he posed well for his physique, he just couldn't present it the best way because he was super watery. I don't know how much he's posing, like his choreography, let's put it that way, 
uh, his uh, his moves when he's hitting these two poses. I don't know how much that could have affected his uh, result in the end, but I don't think it had much to do with this result. Maybe I'm wrong. Again, I don't follow the division too much, but I think this happened only because he was super watery. But he's competing again next weekend at Tampa Pro, so if he just dries out, he still has a chance of doing really well. But again, He's just doing man's physique. He decided not to do the classic physique. So this is pretty boring. I'm going to probably stop covering him for now. I know he's very popular, but still, I want to see him in classic physique. I think he can do really well in classic. What do you guys think? Oh, and finally, we got a little physique update, a new physique update from Regan Grimes. And he's in Dubai right now. So he went to the shopping mall and he bought some sneakers. So what he writes in the caption doesn't really matter that much. Again, this guy is not exactly super committed to bodybuilding anymore. He is traveling, he's enjoying life, he's focused on being a, a, a father in future and a husband. And I mean, considering all that and the traveling and everything, he actually looks good. He looks great. I mean, he still has like the shape. He's in not in bad shape. His conditioning is good, good enough. The lighting here is really good, so, you know, it helps him a lot. He looks nice and round and full and, you know, his shape is good. But we all want to see Regan truly commit to this thing, to bodybuilding, and achieve his full potential, which is, like, top 5, top 3 at the Mr. Olympia. He can do it, but not like this. Not without staying locked up, you know, just focused on training, on eating, on progressing. But I think that's not very likely to happen for this guy. He doesn't want to do it that way. It seems very unfortunately, very, very unfortunately, he has great potential, but it seems like he's never going to really maximize it. I hope he's going to change his mind in the future, but I'm not very optimistic about that. But whatever you guys think, tell me down below in the comment section. If you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. For more content like this, guys, stay tuned. Subscribe to this channel. Thank you so much for watching. See you soon. All the best and bye-bye.